Hello girls, gays, and non-binary babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we are talking about books that center around the theme of girlhood and in particular girlhood in like a horror thriller aspect. Most of these are gonna be thrillers or horror or have some kind of uh, neg not negative connotation to them but it's not like coming of age in a happy amazing way it's more so coming of age in a sense of hell as a teenage girl you know what I mean so I'm very excited to talk about these I've been planning this video for a long time and I've wanted to do this video for a long time so I'm so excited to finally have collected a bunch of books and to talk about them today. So yeah, without any further ado, we are going to jump right on into it with the first book and that is The Girls by Emma Klein. I wanted to start with this book <clears throat> because I believe this is the book that most people would know about in regards to coming of age and girlhood and this one if you don't know is kind of a not retelling but it's an interpretation of the Manson murders from the point of view of one of the girls who was involved in the Manson family and it's not like a true story it's based on like the true events but the names are slightly different but it's kind of like it's the Manson family basically and you know it's meant to be them um, just with different names and our main character in this one uh, really I really like the coming of age in this one because it's set back in like the 60s 70s so it's a different era of coming of age but it's so similar to today and I think it really just speaks to like girls have always been the same even though this was written recently so there's also that perspective on it but it doesn't feel fake or it doesn't feel out of place uh it feels real and the struggles that the main character faces and how she ends up entangled in this cult is really interesting to see and it's like it's not a crazy thing for being a girl, not knowing where you're going, what you're doing, and sometimes you just get caught up in bad shit because you don't know any better. It's hard to explain, but I really like this one, and I think this is definitely a staple, so yes, I would highly recommend it. Next up is the book that gave me this whole idea for um, a girlhood recommendations video um and I could not stop thinking of the phrase hell is a teenage girl the entire time I was reading this so that is Jawbone by Monica Ojeda this is translated from Spanish and it's amazing this follows a group of girls going to this boarding school and it also follows one of the teachers there and this it starts off with this thing that the girls have done to the teacher and it's it's like a classic case of like girls being girls but in the worst way like it's like bitches being bitches but it's also like a coming of age in that way also um, it's so hard to explain like what this book is about but it's kind of following these two girls who are egging each other on in a way um it's very violent but they're also like obsessed with each other and would do anything for each other it's kind of like best friends like rider truly ride or die and it's just really interesting and i really like this one um but yeah this one's definitely horror um and it was just really good so if you're looking for like a translated book or just in general I would really recommend this one next up we have girls against God by Jenny Haval and 
This one is kind of more abstract when you're reading it. It's not as clear cut as everything else, but this one follows a girl in Norway who um, gets into like the metal scene as a teenager and it's about like teenage rebellion and kind of going against traditional values and it was really interesting. Um, I really can barely remember what happened in this but I do remember enjoying it and thinking it was really weird but also like felt very reminiscent of like a, being a teenager and getting into like darker music even though the darkest thing I got into was like alternative music but like I feel like it's definitely that same kind of vibe is kind of being a teenager and exploring the darker sides of things. Um, very interesting and I really like Jenny Ball's writing so yeah. Lastly for physical books I have a definite favorite and that is My Best Friend's Exorcism by uh who's this by again? Grady Hendrix. Um, this one, kind of like how the girls follows 60s, 70s, this follows like 70s, 80s, mostly 80s. Um, but this is obviously a horror and this follows two best friends who like, again, ride or dies for each other and one of them is like possessed. Basically one of them gets possessed and Especially the ending of this one really is reminiscent of childhood best friends and that r kind of relationship you have with them, especially when you're girls. It's just a different kind of relationship um, that you'll really never experience again in your life and it's something so special. But this one also ties in horror aspects as well, so I really like that dichotomy of this being a horror novel but at the end of it just really reflecting on childhood best friends and what they mean and I really like this one. I know a lot of people have read it but I just obviously had to recommend it in this category because it's just a classic and I couldn't not recommend it. Okay and the last two I don't own but I did want to talk about them regardless. The next book that I read was Sisters by Daisy Johnson. This one like wrecked me. This one is a coming of age less in um, friendship and more in obviously sisterhood and it really reflects the hate and love that sisters will have in their childhood. I knew when me and my sister were younger we literally hated each other and now we're kind of like getting back on the track of like we're kind of besties but we hated each other and this one is about two girls who are sisters and there is that kind of love-hate where it's almost like um, if I'm remembering correctly the older sister? I can't remember. The one sister um, knows that the younger will do anything for her, like ride or die, so the elder sister is kind of like egging that on again and um, trying to manipulate that and it's just very fascinating to see uh, as somebody who's grown up not liking their sister at all and um, kind of where we are today and how that affects your childhood and coming of age and all of that. I'm gonna say coming of age so many times in this video. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. I'd say if you pick any of the books on in this video to read, it would be this one because it's just so beautiful and heart-wrenching and I just really love it. You know, it's it's hard to explain when you just love a book so much, but uh, this was definitely one of those. And the final book that I want to talk about today is Brutes by Diz Tate. This is less of a thriller horror. It's almost like a contemporary with slight thriller undertones. So this one is um, about a group of girls 
who are best friends and they live in Florida. It's like the 90s, I want to say, or like early 2000s. And one of them goes missing. And we start off the book kind of the searches on and we're also getting glimpses of what happened, I believe what happened the night that this girl went missing. And these kids are all probably like 13-ish, like right around there. So really that coming of age, age, that uh, girlhood to womanhood age. Um, and this one is less in your face but uh, I haven't seen this movie, but a lot of people say it's reminiscent of the Florida Project and it gives off those vibes. And based on what I've read about the Florida Project, it does seem to have that, ha it does seem to be a good comparison, I would say. Um, and this one, I really just like the atmosphere too of it. Uh, it felt very Florida. I could feel like the humidity and all all that I didn't like it but I felt it um, and it's just a really good coming of age uh, but also kind of mystery and yeah I just really liked it um, kind of one of those that you finish it and you're like I don't know if I liked this I don't know how I feel um, but I think the more I think about it the more I like it so yeah and that is going to do it for today I hope you guys enjoyed these recommendations Please feel free to leave your recommendations down below because I would love to make more of these videos um, I'm thinking I want to do like a motherhood one next. I'm not sure um, But yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one